Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time watching, please hit the subscribe button down below so you can be notified for future videos. Today I have a really cool thrift haul for you. It's a couple puzzles I picked up at my local thrift store down the street, which is both good and bad because I go there all the time. So the first puzzle I have for you is a pomegranate puzzle. It's called Country Dog Gentleman. It's part of their art piece series. It's 1,000 pieces. It's got lots of cool different dogs on it. Um, I've only done one puzzle by Pomegranate before and I really like the quality of their pieces. They were really solid pieces and they snap together really well. So I'm looking forward to doing this one. It looks like all the pieces are there. Someone has actually written on it complete as of four years ago. So hopefully they are all still there. Um, I paid $8 for this puzzle. The next puzzle I have is by Hay. I've never actually done a puzzle by Hay before. It's a picture from the artist called Sarah Kay. As you can see, it's a really cute two girls. This one is a 700 piece and it's got nice big pieces so that you can do them with smaller children and they'd be able to hold the pieces fine, I think is the idea. The next puzzles I picked up are two vintage puzzles from Buffalo Games. They are both part of their World's Most Difficult Jigsaw Puzzle series. The first one is this very interesting painting of dogs. I've never done one of these kind of puzzles before. It says on the back, this puzzle has the same picture on both sides, rotated 90 degrees from each other. This puzzle has also been cut on both sides, making it impossible to figure out which side is which. What makes it more challenging is because I've bought it secondhand, so it's quite possible that it's missing pieces, which adds to the fun, takes away from the fun. Let me know what you think down below. And I paid $5 for this puzzle. The other one in the series is called The Devil's Dilemma. It's a very interesting picture of the devil trying to do a puzzle. It's got a unicorn and some angels and a bat and a snake. It's quite... it's an interesting picture. The boxes actually feel quite light compared to how many pieces it says there is. I'm actually going to take a look. see we've got picture on both sides so at some point someone did put it together which good for them the next two puzzles I have are more springbok puzzles because of course I found more springbok puzzles I always find springbok puzzles the first one is called dancing is a ball it's a 1,000 piece puzzle of different dance styles you can see here I did find this one online, but I wasn't able to find a picture of it completed, so I'm looking forward to doing this one. It does have a legend on the back of all the different types of dance. It's quite dated, but that's kind of to be expected. It does say that the puzzle is 24 inch by 30 inch, which seems big for a 1000 piece puzzle. Looks like there's going to be lots of black pieces, which will be interesting. The next puzzle I picked up is called Classical Brass. It's this image of a musical instrument. I think it's a, I think it's actually two trumpets. I'm not sure. This is a 500 piece puzzle and it's a square one. It's a 20 inch by 20 inch. And of course, buying at a thrift store often means that the puzzle comes already completed for you. So part of the fun, maybe you find it fun, I don't particularly find it fun usually, is having to take it apart before I can put it back together. The last two I picked up are actually mystery jigsaw puzzles. I've never done these before, I've seen videos where people have done them. Um, the first one is a Sherlock Holmes mystery puzzle. It doesn't look like anyone's done it before, it's a bit hard to tell, I didn't want to open the packaging yet. Um, this one was $8 at the thrift store. I'm not quite sure what the image is going to be, of course it's a mystery, but usually it's quite similar to what's in the box. So maybe it'll be similar to this one. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's based on Sherlock Holmes and the Speckled Band, which I don't think I know that one. 
yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. I'm going to be doing a video on this one. And the last one I picked up, I actually have been looking for one like this because Karen Puzzles featured a Springbok mystery puzzle on her channel a few months ago last year. I can't even remember now. Um, so this is another one from that series. This one is called A Star is Ice. It's about the murder of a Hollywood movie star named Alexander Quinn in the 1930s. It's a 500 piece puzzle. I'm looking forward to doing that one. I'm going to do a video for it, of course. And that was my thrifted haul for this week. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this and, of course, more time lapses. I've got lots of cool stuff coming up next year. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!